Hi, I'm Dan Call, one of the owners of Gorilla Productions, and I'm going to show you a technique that will help determine within three minutes if your group potentially has a hit song. Okay, who in your group is the worst singer? Now, have them sing the hook to the Rolling Stones' I Can't Get No Satisfaction. This usually takes a little coaxing. Now, I've found that no matter how bad someone sings, they can usually recognize hooks to radio-friendly songs. Now, ask them to sing a few notes to whichever song your band agrees is your radio hit. Now, I've found that no matter how bad someone sings, they can usually recognize hooks to the radio-friendly songs. If your drummer or your bass player in your band doesn't know the hook or even the words of the chorus, then it's not a hit. That doesn't mean it's not a good song. It might even be a great song. It's just not a radio-friendly song. Okay, things you need to consider when looking for your hit songs. How long is the song? If the song's five or six minutes long, then it's not your hit. Radio tends to play shorter songs, especially from newer groups. Your radio hit should be between two and a half to three and a half minutes long. How long is your song's intro? If the intro is a minute long, then it's not a radio hit. For radio songs, your intro should be about five seconds long and the hook should be in the beginning and at the end of the song to make it more memorable. How many choruses and how long is the hook in the chorus? If the chorus repeats only once and has 12 words in it and your drummer doesn't know half of those words, then it's not your hit song. If you have more verse than chorus, it's also not your hit song. Hit songs are about hooks and only hooks. The hook needs to be the most prominent part of the song, both in melody and dynamically. So hit songs need to be about three minutes long with a repetitive short hook, and most importantly, they need to have meaning. I'm Dan Call, wishing your group the very best.